Welcome back to Huffler Garage. So this is another video in our Huffler Marine series with our Excursion 5. So today we're going to show you how to power your raft. Uh, after all, rowing sucks and you can buy this Intex motor mount kit. It does not come with the trolling motor and believe it or not, it contains products known to California to cause cancer. So we're going to mount this up on the back for the transom and get a motor mounted to it. All right, let's unbox this thing. See what we got here. One rod. Another rod. box is empty. We got a little bubble wrap package with all of our hardware. One piece of the transom mount, second piece, and then technically the actual transom. So let's take a look through these instructions. Uh, it comes with the support, uh, two aluminum tubes, and I'm trying to read French at the moment. So where's the English? Ah, there we are. Number three is two fasteners. That's going to be in our hardware kit. Number four is U-bolts. It's in our hardware kit. Number five is our plastic brackets. And then number six is a nut, which is going to be in our hardware kit. So looking at this instruction sheet, doesn't look too hard to do. So let's show you how to do it. All right, so we're going to start with our aluminum rods. Slide it right in there. Like that. And this piece goes up through this holder. Let's see here. Voila. Then our second bracket, second aluminum rod. Slide through there, slide through there. Take a look at our instructions to make sure we set it up properly. Inside our hardware pack, there are bolts, and washers with little clamps. These are half moon clamps that go onto the rod. The ones without the half moon clamps will go onto the actual plastic bracket. So, be careful when you pull this nut off to not drop the washer that comes with it. Slide it through there, washer goes on. Getting easy set up. Oh, hi. Well, piece fell out there that back. Alrighty, there's our top two set and ready. I'm going to go ahead and use the two without the half moon clamps. 
take a look at our instructions just to make sure I'm doing this correctly. And I am. I will say the instructions make this look a lot more complicated than it is. Uh, it's simply just sliding it on and putting it on correctly. All right, so then we have that piece. And next is for our second set of half moon sets. Pull that nut off. Make sure you do not drop your washer. It's mounted on there as well. Slide that right in. Washer. Actually, I'm going to slide that in from the other side. Simply because I want a uniform look with all the nuts on the outside. That's all tightened up. Now we can add our support. Alrighty. We're going to start by pulling the nuts off of this. Oh. Now it looks like this one is adjustable on the height of your motor. So I'm just going to place it kind of center simply because I am not sure at the very this very moment how that's going to work out. But come on baby. Voila, there's our first one. Put our washers on there. And our nuts. And put our other top side you bolt on. Okay. And for our bottom ones. And I just dropped a washer. Oh no. I specifically said not to do that. We're gonna pause for a moment. <laughs> okay, so I found my washer that I dropped. <laughs> Maybe building this on the grass wasn't the best idea. It did take me a minute to find it, but we're gonna keep going. Switch over to the other side. Really? I'm gonna stop dropping the washers. I'll probably get this done faster. And there you have it. Everything is mounted, and that is how simple it is. As far as this transom goes, or motor mount kit, you are able to put one and a half horsepower on this thing or up to a 30 pound motor. So we pulled her down to the lake and we have mounted our Hankai 3.5 horsepower two stroke outboard. Um, seems to be pretty sturdy, so we're gonna push her out into the water and see how she handles. Woo. 
with the Hankai engine, I'm going to show you what she does. Yeah, come on there, baby. This engine might be a little too heavy and quite possibly a little overpowered because you're really sinking into the water as I'm trying to push it. I can't even go full throttle. But still a lot better than paddling, I won't say that much. What's up guys? I think if I go full throttle, she'll go sink right into the water. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Oh, the Antex raft is uh, pretty awesome. The uh, transom mount or motor kit is working very well, although I do believe our three and a half horsepower, 20 some pound engine is a bit too much for it because she definitely seemed like she wanted to sink down into the water. I couldn't even go full throttle, but um, hey, it's still a lot better than paddling. Please like and subscribe and follow us for more and see what else we can do with this thing.